Okay, so um, welcome everybody. This is a new weekly feature uh, where um, myself, Giles Yates from Daoshu Wudang Arts get to hear stories uh, from my master, uh, Master Bing, uh, Zhong Xue Chao. Because um, one thing I've always loved, Chifu, is when you, in your classes or when you've done tours of the temples, you've told these amazing stories from the legend of John Wu or John Song Fang. Um, and also when you've shared memories of um, your own um, early days training in Wudan. So um, I think this is going to be really nice to hear the stories that 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 you know and the, and the and the stories that you remember um, each week. Mm. So we're going to do two stories: one story from legend, one story um, from the legends and myths of Wudang, and then one story from your own memories of training uh, when you were younger on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so Shifu, what's our first story this week? Uh, this first story could be when Zhen Wu in uh, Mo Zhen Jin, there's a temple called uh, Mo Zhen Jin, it uh, means a needle temple. So the story, the story behind the temple that when Zhen Wu practiced in uh, Wudang for many years, more like uh, more than 40 years, he was not, uh, he was not a success, he was a uh, Feel you you great. I've practiced so many years. I didn't uh, uh, don't have a uh, don't see any success. He was want to go home. Yeah, he was a prince from uh, Jinle Jinle country. Uh, the country called Jinle. He was a prince. He came to Wudan. His parents don't want him to come to to Wudan on the mountain practice the Taoism. So he now he want to go home. Now he he from the up deep in the mountain, walk down the mountain to a on a small place. See, eh, they suddenly see a, a older lady was iron a big piece of metal on a big stone, a big piece of metal. He was a um, the, what's the word? Iron? What's the word? Uh, grinding. Grinding, yes. Yeah. Instead of grinding a big piece of metal, then she, he was asking, "Hey, uh, what are you, what are you doing, Grandma?" He, then he, he the, that's actually was then was uh, master tend to a uh, old lady. So he says, "I'm doing uh, making a uh, a needle." My daughter going to be going to marry. I, I need a, a needle to make in beautiful clothes for my daughter. I need to make in a, a small needle. Then she so said, "How you make a big piece of needle to a, a metal to a needle?" Then she says, "Well, just give effort. When you when there's enough time, it it will be a needle." Then Zhen Wu say, he don't believe. He just, well, I don't believe. Then he, he just left. Goodbye, he left. Continue walking down to the mountain. Walk uh, another few miles. Then suddenly somehow he, oh, that may be, my master is telling me I need to put uh, more, Effort, when there's enough effort, I will be success. So that must be my master. So Zheng would say, was remember that has must be his master. So that's uh, then he returned to up to the mountain to pra practice more. Yeah, so that's the short story. Zhi Yao Gong Fu Shen Ti Bang Mo Chen Zhen. So this means if you give enough effort, a big piece of metal will turn to a, you can grind into a needle, needle. I love that a, story. Oh, yes. Yeah, I do love that story, Shifu. 
-hmm. And that's, that's a really important story for our training, right? That we need to keep yeah. practicing, keep trying. Yeah, you do, you do not you always want to see what's the, what's my level, what's the, don't want, always want to see the, the fruit, the success. Yeah. And um, when, before John Wu um, met his master, um, grinding the needle, <clears throat> what was he feeling? Um, what was he struggling with? How was he failing? What aspect of his practice? Was it like he, could, he couldn't like meditate enough or he... He, he didn't meditate. He just uh, not enough, not a lot enough. He, right. Yeah, he didn't see the, the change, the big change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in Mudang, there is a, a temple at this place now where, yeah, where he yes. met the, the lady. Yeah. yeah, I should have prepared a picture. Actually, I have the temple, I have the big stone, and right now they put a big stone and a needle already. Actually, yeah. yeah. Well, great. There's Thank also you, a statue. There's a, a statue of uh, his master, an uh, older lady. Is uh, that's normally a statue would see the street. That mm -hmm. statue is a is a sideway, and the, the hand is working sideway, talking to the to uh, the young boy. So the, that mm. statue is sideway. Amazing. Okay. So, and now a second story from your own, your own memories of training in Mudan. What comes to mind? Oh, that's, uh, we do remember when we came first, came to Mudan. The, at the beginning, we never learned uh, any form, always just stretch and the whole stance, stretch and the whole stance. Yeah, every, every day we have three, Three meal, always rice, 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 and uh, eat and sleep and the training on only three things. Uh, for no holidays, we don't. We never know what the day we're going to be rest. Normally, after two or three weeks, we will ask uh, our sifu, "What day? What can we can can we be can we rest a day?" Then the Sufu said, did you practice enough? Did you practice well? Always, always says, did you practice enough? So we always kick, stretch, and hold stance, punching, ma bu, gong bu. Yeah. So this is like grinding the needle from the uh, yeah. big piece of metal. You have to keep going more, more, more. Always more training. Yeah, that's a foundation. Always foundation, foundation. Yeah. Which was the which was the hardest bit? The stretches, the kicks, or horse stance? Which was the hardest bit? The hardest we we think the kick is a uh, harder. Yeah, the stretch is uh, is a slow. Just everything has the harder thing. The st stretch is sometimes feel pain. Feel very pain. Some the horse stance also. You feel, oh, everything you feel pain. The horse stance when you saw and pain, and the kicks. You need a not just kick it up. We need a kick quick and fast and strong and and the step will be the very fast. And every day, uh, every every day three times each time each time like maybe maybe a, a thousand kick. So we have like uh, 10 to 15 kicks, each kick like a uh, hundred times. We do this process. Times. Yeah, wow. each kick like a hundred times, around a hundred times. So morning, early morning, and uh, then before lunch, that's morning. Then we do it uh, evening. The afternoon always uh, rest, sleep, afternoon. Then um, 
So always three times skip classes. Sometimes we do in the afternoon. And and as as time went on over the weeks and the months and years, did did they start? Did it start to feel easier? Was there less pain when you did yeah. kicks? And it is getting easier uh, after it, it getting more easier and easier. These uh, now after a couple of months, the hardest the thing is uh, every day you do the same thing. <laughs> every day yeah. the same thing. Can we do something different? Can we go? Can we go to the mountain to get a uh, firewood? Yeah, get a firewood. Oh, okay. All of it's hard work. Yeah, all of yeah, it's hard work. <laughs> But I heard you say this before that to go and get the firewood was like a bit of a that was good that was a good like little mini holiday to go and get the firewood yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sometimes uh, when it ran when it ran also they train a little less but uh, still train when it ran yeah. we don't have indoor space for indoor hall for training we train under the roof yeah a little bit of space. And and then when you began teaching your younger kung fu brothers, did you make them train as hard as your chief who made you train hard? When some school they still keep their hard hard training, my when I train I do yeah when I teach in my master school I will keep the same hard training yes yeah but when I go to when I teach in uh, I went out to the United States. Because what I train most is uh, elders, more than 30, 40, 50 years old. Yeah. Uh, so the older, then it's not as tough. I also the time, they cannot afford the whole day time. Yeah. The training is different. Yeah. That's a great story. Thank you, Shifu. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure all those, the real, um, at the beginning of the week, it's a real inspiration to keep training, keep practicing, mm. grind it, grinding the metal down to the needle. As long as you're on the on the path in the way, keep training, then it's a it's a good place to be. Yeah, when the you will turn when you train enough, you, you will suddenly turn to a different you yeah. change. Yeah. She 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 fu she she me. Thank you for the, Thank you for this big story. Yeah. Oh, oh, before we finish, um, sometimes in these sessions we will do announcements too. So um, I know you're doing some current um, online courses, but um, you'll have a new course starting soon. Oh, yeah. I have a new course after the Taifu Chuan finished at uh, this Saturday. Uh, next Saturday, uh, coming Saturday, the next Saturday we start at the Five and the Mochigong. So start of teach each five animal qigong five forms each form teach a week so that's five weeks and uh, after the five weeks we will keep a month-long practice like uh, every other day morning and evening every other day practice for about 30 minutes another month so that's a two months practice the five animal qigong amazing and um if you if you didn't do these uh, if you didn't do the Wushu Qigong last year you can start new students can start this year yeah start up yeah. new yes yes amazing great that's exciting after the five and Qigong I will do the the Tai Chi 13 Tai Chi form uh, the, the mother Tai Chi form yeah mother Tai Chi yeah. form amazing right. yeah Thank you, Chifu. Thank you for your time this week, and I'll see you next okay. week for more stories. Okay. Yes. Yes.